Every month we test several smartphones and post our findings on gadgets360.com and on this channel. Now due to the relentless pace of smartphone launches, we've decided to highlight the smartphones that ace our exhaustive testing process in a new monthly video which will begin today. Our list of the best phones reviewed in February 2020 includes some promising low-cost and premium models that once again raise the bar in terms of the features and specifications that you get for your money. We've got an interesting dual-screen phone, a budget powerhouse, and a few affordable versions of flagship favorites for you to check out. Now let's find out which are the best phones of February 2020 in this video and we'll list these phones in chronological order. Before watching this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when we publish new videos. The POCO X2 ensured that our smartphone reviews for February got off to a great start. It packs impressive hardware including the Snapdragon 730G processor and a display with a 120Hz refresh rate starting at a very attractive price point just north of 15,000 rupees. We found the POCO X2's performance, daytime photos and battery life to be excellent but we weren't too pleased with its bulk, low-light video performance or the bloatware in MIUI. In terms of pricing, the POCO X2 undercuts the Realme X2 which makes this smartphone even more appealing in the sub 20,000 rupees price segment. The relentless pace of smartphone launches by Chinese brands has left a few big names behind. LG might not make a lot of noise, but it's still launching some interesting smartphones such as the LG G8 X ThinQ. This phone has one great feature that makes it stand out, which is a dual screen case that ships in the box. The G8 X ThinQ's unique accessory gives you some of the features of foldable smartphones at a much more affordable price. There are some unique use cases that benefit from the second screen, such as being able to use a virtual game controller. This phone also impressed us with its performance, software and battery life. Realme continued its smartphone launching spree in February with a really strong entry in the budget segment. The Realme C3 redefines what to expect from phones price starting below 7000 rupees. In our review, we praised the performance of the Realme C3 the most as it manages to outperform some models that cost much more. We were also very pleased with its battery life and the clean Realme UI based on Android 10 that it ships with. We didn't like the fact that this phone still has a micro USB port and lacks fast charging, but otherwise it is a great option at its price right now. Samsung has really made a mark in the value flagship space with the Samsung Galaxy S10 Lite. This is a stripped down version of last year's flagship Galaxy S series. The S10 Lite gives Samsung a model that directly takes on the OnePlus 70, which is great to see. The S10 Lite's sturdy body, crisp display, high quality cameras and strong battery life were praised in our review, but we did note that it should have been priced a bit lower to offer better value. After our review of the S10 Lite was published, iQ3 and the Realme X50 Pro were launched with the Snapdragon 865 processor, which is much more powerful than what you get on the S10 Lite. Our reviews of the Realme X50 Pro and iQ3 are in progress right now and that's why these phones are not in this video. But stay tuned to Gadgets360.com and this channel for more on that a little later. The Note 10 Lite brings a unique selling point of the Galaxy Note series, which is the S Pen Stylus, to a relatively affordable price point. The Note 10 Lite is not as powerful as the S10 Lite, but we did like the fact that you don't have to shell out a huge amount for the S Pen experience anymore. In our review, we praise the Note 10 Lite's display, fast charging and battery life apart from the S Pen of course. However, we were disappointed with Samsung's decision to ship this device with a 2-year-old processor. As with the S10 Lite, new and upcoming phones with Snapdragon 865 at this price level are likely to hurt the Note 10 Lite too. The Samsung Galaxy M31 has two great features, battery life and software. With a 6000mAh battery, this smartphone can outlast most others in the market. And with One UI 2 based on Android 10, it is one of the few devices in its price bracket that are shipping with Android 10 out of the box. 
In our review, we liked the daylight camera performance of the M31, which has a quad rear camera setup, and we were also pleased with its display, which is one aspect of Samsung's budget phones that has consistently been excellent. Poor video stabilization and a relatively weak processor are the only things holding back the Galaxy M31. So those were the best smartphones of February 2020. A bunch of other phones have recently arrived in the Gadget 360 lab for testing, including the Realme X50 Pro, the iQ3, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus, and a couple of others which may end up making a list of best phones in March 2020. So you can check back for that video at the end of March. And until then, you can just enjoy this one. Go to Gadget360.com for more information and share your thoughts on this video via the comments.